In this video, we're going to show you how to install a fuel vapor canister, also known as a charcoal canister, located underneath the bed of the truck. Now we unbolt this canister and lower it down. There are multiple connections on the top side of it. You want to be careful. Some of these are rigid lines. You don't want to crack anything. So be careful, lower it down, and then we'll disconnect those connections. On the outboard side of our canister here, you're gonna go up on the bracket and there is a 12 millimeter bolt right up here. You wanna go ahead and loosen and remove this here. Uh, there is a lot of debris on the top side, sand, all that stuff there. We took our air hose and blew it off and we sprayed it with a rust penetrant and let it set for a little bit. Let's go ahead and loosen this. Now this will slowly start to drop down. Slide it out of the bracket. As we lower this down, we wanna go ahead and reach on the top of our canister and start to disconnect components. Now on the top here, we have an electrical connector right here. Sometimes there's sand and debris that gets in there that prevents you from pushing on this tab and releasing that. We're gonna try and press on that tab and use our flathead screwdriver to try and work that off. Ours was able to pop out, so that's great. We have an electrical connector on the other side over here I'm gonna try and do the same thing. All right. Pop that off there. Now we have another hose that comes around. It actually has like an insulated sleeve on it and it comes around to the back side. If we turn the canister, we can see it on the back over here. So let's go ahead and pop that one off next. Now these white locking tabs is one on either side. We can use a pick on one side and a pocket screwdriver on the other. We're using a small cotter pin to go in behind this one and you can open up the other side. And with those clips unlocked, we should be able to twist this off of our canister. All right, and we have that hose off there. We have this hose right here. We're going to use a pair of pliers and release those, the hose clamp, and we'll pull that off. Use a pair of pliers, release that hose clamp. Go ahead and grab this here, kind of twist that and work that off. With the canister out of the way, we can go ahead and grab our solenoid, grab that hose here, and we're gonna twist this off. If you want to, you can go ahead and check that solenoid unit. We have all this debris coming out of the inside of our solenoid unit. Definitely want to go ahead and replace that. On the top of the unit, we want to go ahead and pull this off. So we're going to open up the two little tabs. This is a pressure switch. Pop that out, just a rubber O-ring. We're going to swap that over. I'm going to go ahead and remove this cap. I'm going to use a small pick. Pull that out. Take your new component, line that up and press it in. And if you want to, to help that slide in a little bit easier, take a little bit of spray solvent, a little bit on that O-ring. Press it in, you can see the component is past the two lock tabs. Use your pick, pop that cap out. And on the inside, you're gonna notice some notches that should line up with the keys on this port here. Now there is an O-ring on here. 
When you install this here, you want to make sure that you get these tabs or keys to line up with the notches on this and then we'll lock it into place. So you have two wider grooves or notches left and right, say three and nine o'clock and then 12 and six other little teeth. Gonna push that in and then you can go ahead and rotate this. Now there's a little lock tab right here as you rotate this clockwise, it should engage into this. There it is. Might need assistance of the pick there just to lock that in. That'll keep that secured. This component here is ready to install. And before we install our hoses, make sure you remove the caps. Go ahead and spin this around. Let's go ahead and get our large EVAP hose installed. I'm going to line this up. Push that down. And push it until you hear the uh, clips lock on. We're gonna install our small vacuum hose here. Push that down. It's gonna be a tough one to get on once you get this pushed up and into place. So this will go on second. Move the hose clamp down in a position. Grab that evap hose here, line that up, and we're going to push that on. Make sure that's down pretty far, sealed up. Now we're going to take our canister. And on the side of this bracket, there's a tab right here sticking out. That goes into the lower portion of a canister. We'll push this up onto that. Good, line up that bracket. We're gonna get our bolt installed. Once we have that started, let's go ahead and snug that down. And on the top, we have our electrical connectors we need to pop on here. And line that up. Push that on. You're gonna feel in here it click into place. And then we'll install our back connector. Line that up, push it on. You're gonna feel in here it click into place. At this point here, you're all installed up top and you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.